and welcome to Rooted in Essential Oils. My name is Famous, and today I wanted to share with you how to DIY your perfume spray. So Mother's Day is here, and happy mothers to all the mothers out there watching me. Um, I just wanted to show you how to make a natural perfume using essential oils. So the three things I wanna tell you when you're making a perfume or a cologne, um, is you want to have a base note so my base for this perfume today is going to be vanilla and ylang-ylang vanilla has a sweet natural smell to it and ylang-ylang has a floral smell um it smells pretty good but they're both strong smelling essential oils so that is why i am using those two with young living the vanilla is actually not an essential oil. It's actually the residue from the flower. So it's not going to be like a vanilla essential oil from a different company where it's really like loose. This one is a lot thicker. Um, so when I use this one, I won't be dripping it because it takes forever for it to drip. So I'll be using this little tool here it comes when you order um, these kind of containers so this is a roller and this is a spray I got both of those from Amazon but when you order certain things it will come with um, little tools to use to get the oil out a little easier um, but these are my base notes um, your middle notes are going to um these are my middle notes and it's bergamot and geranium so it's more of the like earthy floral scents um they kind of linger around right after the base i want to say um but bergamot smells really good with anything and geranium it has a floral scent to it so it's going to be kind of strong but I'm not gonna use too much of the geranium. And then your top note. So your top note when it comes to colognes and perfume are gonna be your like citrus smells, um, the sweeter smells. So not sweeter, but citrus. So today I have orange and grapefruit and those are not gonna last as long as the base, which will last pretty long. Like, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Once you smell something, you'll smell this longer than what you would smell with the citrus. Like the citrus is kind of quick, but the vanilla will be like lingering for quite some time. Um, if that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. So today we are going to be mixing these oils. I do have a recipe. I will share it right at the end if you would like to do your own. Um, but in my previous videos, I've mentioned these before. This is a roller, 10 ml roller, and it's for essential oils. And then this one is just a spray, an empty spray bottle that you can get off of Amazon. Both of these came off of Amazon, but this is a spray. If you would prefer to spray yourself, you can do that as well. So I have both that I will show you. But before we get to those, we're, I have an empty, an empty bottle. Um, once upon a time it had bergamot in it. But I like to save, once I run out of these bottles, I like to save them because they come in hand for like now. Um, and since this, this uh, recipe that I'm using is bergamot in it, which is the middle note, um, why not use a bergam bergamot bottle that I had in the past? It is dried out, so it doesn't smell too strong, and it shouldn't disrupt the perfume that I'm making. Um, but I like the smell of bergamot. So what we're going to do is mix all the oils into this empty bottle, and then um, we will add this to our 10 ml roller and our spray. I'm not sure of the size, but it's a little bigger than 10, probably like 12 ml. 
it's a little bigger but we'll mix all those into this empty bottle first so the first thing i'm going to use is the vanilla i'm going to do 30 drops again i'm not going to use the drips because if you watch this will take forever to do 30 drips um i'll try to get one to come out so it's part there it is that's two three so that would take forever i'm not going to do that so i've showed you my little trick before in my videos take the lid this is a dripper that you can take off by just prying it and angling it at, a, at an angle and then that dripper will come off and now i can use this and like suck it out of the bottle and put it into the bottle. So that was a lot easier than having to wait for that one drip to fall out. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got our 30 drops of vanilla into the bottle. And then to put that topper back onto the vanilla, we just close this up real tight. And that dripper will be back on like before. Just a quick little tip. Remember, we're doing our base note first. We're gonna do 14 drips of ylang ylang. And this should come out a little faster than the vanilla, so I can actually drip this one. Maybe not. So that was two drops. Oh, it's because we don't have a lot in here. It should be enough for this recipe though. So I'm gonna use the same one and just, well, no. I'll pour it all in there cause it's almost gone. So that was 13 drops um, of the ylang ylang. I My recipe requires 14. It will be okay without the one more drop. But now this one is empty, so I will save this one and use it another time. The next one we're going to do is the middle note. So bergamot, this bottle was already, this empty one was bergamot once before. But now we're going to do 18 drops of bergamot. This one should come out quite fast. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That was 19. So one extra one did not hurt this perfume. But we're also going to do six of the geranium. Geranium has a floral scent, but it's all, almost sweet too. It's like a sweet floral. It smells good. I like the smell of geranium, especially mixing it with something like bergamot. So again, we're doing six of the geranium. Two, three, four, five. And that was seven. <clears throat> I'll get better at dripping, but this won't hurt. Um, one extra drip will not hurt this at all. And then we're gonna do our top notes, which is the citrus smells. So this, we're going to do six drops. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. We got our six of the orange. This is the orange essential oil. We're also going to do grapefruit and we're doing six of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the perfume and it smells lovely. It has that like sweet, but floral, but citrus. It's really, really nice. And I think that bergamot like grounds it. So it's like, it has like a little earthy smell to it, but sweet. It smells really, really nice. And I know a woman would love to have this smell. Especially if you're into those floral, citrus, sweet smells. This has no like spicy smell to it. This is more of the sweet, sweet citrus smells. Um, but now we're, <clears throat> before we add them to the bottles, I do want to give you a quick tip. So when you're making perfumes, you do want to let this sit and let it marinate. So right now I'm just shaking it up so it like just marinates together. But the longer you let this sit, the better the scent will be able to like marinate and love on each other. So I like to give this like a good week or two of just sitting it just like this without adding the carrier oil, which I will share in just a second. Um, but this is a quick way to make a perfume, the natural way. Um, so I just shook it all up. Now we're going to add it to the 10 ml bottle. I am going to use the little suction, suction dial that I have here. Um, and we will just take one. We probably won't do all of it. I wanna save some of it for the next bottle. And essential oils are, with Young Living, the essential oils are definitely strong. And that's why you want to use glass bottles and nothing like plastic. Because if it sits in a plastic anything for a period of time that's not like chemical safe, it can start to deteriorate that, that uh, plastic. So that's why anytime you see essential oils, they're in an amber colored bottle. So this dark brown colored bottle, um, you can use like clear glass, but you just want to keep it out of sunlight. That way it lasts longer. If you keep it in direct sunlight, it's not going to hold up its entirety. So we got our oil, our mixture into this bottle. Now we're going to put it in this bottle as well, in the spray bottle. And again, I'm just sucking it all out. And I'm going to put it in here. And remember, just let your oils marinate before you want to put it on. And if you want to put it on right away, it's no big deal. You can. Um, but over time, as it sits, it will it will marinate, if that makes sense. Your oils will marinate, and you will smell that aroma, and it will be lovely. So we got our two oils into the bottle. Remember, this is the spray top, and this is the roller. And now we're just going to top it off with essential oils. I mean, sorry, we got our essential oils, but we're gonna top it off with our carrier oil. So a carrier oil is something that has bigger molecules, whether it's jojoba oil, which I have jojoba oil right here, and I get this off of Amazon, um, but this is 100% pure jojoba oil. This is the closest thing to your natural body making oil. So that's why I like to use jojoba oil. Plus, um, people are, they are not allergic to jojoba oil. So I don't want to start putting like 
coconut oil or almond oil and not knowing if they are allergic. So that's why I like to stick to the jojoba oil. But you can use like vegetable oil, um, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, just anything with bigger molecules than essential oil. Essential oil oils, they are their molecules are a lot smaller. So this will just help dilute the essential oil, but also make your oil stretch a little longer. Um, so we will add, the rest of this will be carrier oil. And remember, Young Living's oils are all plant-based, so you don't have to worry about additives or chemicals. And then now we're going to add to this one, the roller. We're gonna close this up so we don't spill it and we can shake it up. And I did spill a little bit of the carrier oil, but that's okay. I got a towel right here. And I always talk about a towel because the first video I did, I did not have a towel and I was making a mess. But we got our essential oil in here and our carrier oil, and then we just shake it up. And it has like this yellowish color to it. I know it just looks like oil, but it smells wonderful. Also, you, you you can use like coconut oil or something, um, but it's going to change that smell, the scent of the um, of the perfume that you're making. So just keep that in mind. If you use like olive oil or coconut or almond, it will have the potential of changing that smell. And then we just put the roller top on this one. It comes with a roller top. And this is so you can just apply it to your neck, wrist, um, thigh area, wherever you would like to put your perfume. I don't touch the ball because someone's gonna use this. Um, and it's just hard to use gloves while doing this. So you don't want it to be slipping and sliding everywhere. But we'll just wipe this one down. We'll shake it up. And this is the perfume on how to DIY your perfume. So again, I did two bottles and I'm actually gonna take these and probably a few more um, and give them out to some of the mothers at work um, because they work hard and they deserve it. So why not? I have a special gift for the mothers at work. And if you don't know what I'm about, I'm all about sharing. So sharing is caring in my world. And if you're a part of my world, you will definitely get something that's either oils or plant-based because I just love sharing what I know could help. Um, and the good thing about these oils, like they can do other things besides just smell good. They will help support your body, your immune system, they're very universal. Um, if you've been following along, um, I've used orange in a, quite a bit of things, uh, whether it's teeth whitening or um, my body care or um, cooking with it. Like you can do a lot with different oils. Um, grapefruit is another one that I do not like to eat grapefruit but I love the smell of it so this is a good one um, plus it's good for your digestive system vanilla is so good um, you can cook with it because it's pure vanilla um, geranium is a fr flower so you can do some things with geranium <clears throat> but there's so many ways you can utilize your essential oils besides just smelling good and it will help support your 
emotions um this one is a very good one orange it's uplifting so helping you stay happy and all that great stuff um but that is what i have for you for this video if you have any questions comments or concerns please write them in the comment section um and if you would like to create your free account click on that link in the comment section or the description of this video and order your products you can get any of the oils off of the website um, just by creating your free account but also um, if you want any of these products from Amazon I can link that in the description of this video as well on where you can order these nice looking um, roller and spray bottle but that's all I have for you for this video thank you for watching stay tuned for my next one um, the, the next one will be for the fellas so stay tuned for it all right thanks for watching me bye